You were trapped at the bank. Yeah, and running out of time, like we are now. So they came into the city. Where was that? There was a plaza outside. We were with the nuke inside the bank, waiting for Miller and Havel III to get there. I radio them. I need to know when the relief force is coming. They say three minutes. We'll be there in three minutes. Roger. Yeah, we need to make sure these 
assholes don't get it. I hear you. We'll do what we can. Alright, switch it back to off channel. Hello, Mr. Miller, is it? <laughs> Americans and their souvenirs. Is this your child? Yeah, I can see the name. Johnny Miller. Hope he doesn't miss it too much. No, children, they get attached to these little things. They can cry for days when they lose one. You know why? Because these small objects remind them they're loved. But loss is part of growing up, isn't it? Part of growing up is accepting the inevitability of death. The inevitability, Mr. Miller, of death. My father told me that. You would be a hero to your children too. I hope that gives you comfort. Brother! Amadei, <coughs> hey John. Shame. You come to our country to murder us, yet we are the terrorists when we try to protect our nation and our people. This is the price you pay. <laughs> <laughs> 